All right, this is uh, experiment one for the Enzyme and Metabolism Lab, and we have some solutions out here that I'm gonna go over and some equipment I'm gonna go over. So here we have a vortexer. This is how we mix stuff in our test tube. Um, there's our balance, so we can measure out the amount of jello. Um, we have our three test tubes that we're gonna use for this experiment, and uh, these are for the fresh pineapple, canned pineapple, and water. Um, and then something to scoop our pineapple, our fresh pineapple with, and we're gonna blend that up and put it through a cheesecloth and get pineapple juice um, to use for our fresh, right? And then for our canned pineapple, we're just gonna use this guy. Um, and then we've got some water to add to the solutions. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and prepare to add jello to our test tubes so that we can begin this experiment with the pineapple. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the scale. And once it comes on, I'm going to add a weighing dish to this. And once it does that, I'm going to have to zero out the scale to make sure that it's measuring at zero grams initially. And I can add jello to this until I get one gram. If I get a little bit over, that's okay. I can go ahead and remove some until I'm down to one gram. Now I'm going to take this and place it in a test tube. I want to make sure my test tube is dry so it doesn't stick to the side. And I will repeat that for each of my test tubes. I also need to use a pipette to add 2.5 milliliters of water to this. So I will suck up 2.5 milliliters of water and add that to my tube. Once I have that done, I can go ahead and vortex my sample. Try to get some mixing taking place. Now, some of this is going to cling to the side. I'll get that off as I warm this. So I'm gonna warm this in a dry bath and I will vortex it again to make sure that I get all the powder off the side. So our next step here is to make some pineapple juice. We need fresh pineapple juice so that we can compare that to our water and our canned pineapple juice. I'm going to take a scoop of pineapple and place it into the blender. And after that, I need to get 50 milliliters of water. So I'm going to use this graduated cylinder to measure out 50 milliliters of water. And there we go. I'll add that to the blender here. We'll place the lid on. And we will start blending our pineapple up. And our goal is to blend this well enough to be able to extract some juice. Okay, that looks good. We have some nice pineapple pulp. And I'm going to pour it into this funnel here with some cheesecloth so that we can take the chunks out of this. Now the fun part here is that we're gonna see that's not gonna drain incredibly quickly. Therefore, I get a chance to give this a little bit of a squeeze. And we can prepare ourselves that fresh pineapple juice. Now again, we're gonna be adding this once we get to the point where all three of our tubes with jello are ready to have the ingredients added to them that are going to make them different. We start off with three tubes that are all the same filled with jello and our goal here of course is to contrast fresh pineapple juice, canned pineapple juice, and water. You can imagine the function that water is going to serve in our experiment. In this case the fresh pineapple juice we believe will have an active form of the enzyme and our canned pineapple juice has been through the pasteurization process Therefore, it's been heated for a long time, potentially deactivating, or we use the term denaturing, the enzyme that's inside of it. Okay, so we're ready to continue here from step six on page 127 of your lab manual. 
And the first thing we need to know is that I have here three tubes. I've got tubes one, two, and three. And in all of these, we have prepared our jello. So what we did was we added the jello, we added some water, we mixed them, we heated them so that the jello would melt. And now we have allowed them to cool to where they are cool to touch. We need to add 2.5 milliliters of each of our substances, which is gonna make the tubes different. That means our fresh pineapple juice, our canned pineapple juice, and then water. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin here and take 2.5 milliliters of fresh pineapple juice that we just made. And I will add that to test tube number one. I'm going to mix this. And once I've mixed it, I'm gonna add it to some ice to allow it to cool and potentially set. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the canned juice. We have a can we just opened up. And I'm gonna pull up my 2.5 milliliters. And I will mix that one. And add it to the ice. And finally, I'm going to take 2.5 milliliters of water. and add it to tube number three. Again, mixing. Before I add that to the ice. Now all I need to do is allow these some time to set and come back and see if there are any differences between the tubes.